This video will explore how to create geometry using curves. We'll begin by going to the front view, so hit spacebar 3, and hit spacebar G to hone in around the origin. With the curve tool selected, we're going to start drawing a profile. We're going to be making a wine glass. We'll hit the Enter key to finish and exit the Curve tool. Now we just need to snap the two points that are lying close to the Y axis. We need them to snap exactly to that axis, otherwise we'll have a gap in the middle. Hit the X hotkey for Grid Snap, and then snap the points into place. Hit Spacebar 1 to go back to Perspective View, and Spacebar G to frame the curve. Now we're going to change the curve's primitive type to NURBS. You can double click to go into the curve node and change it, or you can change it up here. Go back up to object level with the U key, and now we'll go to the model shelf and click on Revolve. We'll turn on wireframe on shaded, click on the Revolve node. We're going to explore some of the settings within. You can control the divisions on the Revolve surface here, but we'll leave it at 10. You can also use the handle to change the position of the profile curve to get different surface results. And finally, we can move the points of the profile curve itself to further tweak our surface. Now let's change the surface type from nerves to polys. We'll go back up to object level, and we're going to grab the rim of the glass and crease the edges. Hit 3 for edge selection and then hit the Tab key and type Crease, and hit the Enter key again to select it. Go back up to Object Level, and then go to the Render tab. Change Display As to Subdivision Surface. And now you can see that we have added more geometry detail to the surface. Let's do a render region on the glass to see what that looks like. Well, our surface doesn't render with subdivision because we had only turned it on for the viewport display. We need to enable render polygons as subdivisions to get it to render as well. Now we can go back to our crease node and turn out the value to get a more defined rim on the glass. And this is one way to crease edges on your geometry. We'll be looking at other ways later on.